Eponeurosis versus tendon. On dissecting a human body, one comes across various structures in and around the muscles apart from the blood vessels, bones, and nerves. Eponeurosis, fasciae, ligaments, and tendons are structures seen along with muscles. Fasciae are the auxiliary tissues that connect muscle to muscle, while ligaments are connective tissues that connect one bone to another bone. Aponeurosis and tendons are connective tissues that connect muscles to bones. Aponeurosis is an extremely delicate, thin, sheath-like structure which attaches muscles to the bones whereas tendons are tough, round, cord-like structures which are extensions of the muscles. Normally, tendons allow the attachment of muscle from its originating bone to the bone on which it ends. An aponeurosis has the property of recoiling and hence it functions like a spring. Whenever the muscle expands or contracts, it bears all the extra pressure and tension. Likewise, a tendon has capacity for a lot of endurance to stretching and they allow the proper contraction of the muscle by providing strength and support. Aponeurosis is a white, transparent sheet, a flat structure-like sheet, whereas tendon is a white, shiny and glazed, rope-like tough structure. Also, the eponeurosis acts as a shock absorber, thereby allows the bones of the foot to bear all the weight of the body without getting shorn. Certain examples of eponeurosis are the anterior abdominal eponeurosis, posterior lumbar eponeurosis, etc. A tendon is extremely important for muscle attachments and is present wherever the muscle has to exert force of contraction across a joint, or if the bone of insertion is distant. The tendon is cartilaginous tissue which is relatively flexible and thus can be wound across the joint. The eponeurosis of the abdomen called the obliquus externus abdominis is one such muscle which is entirely eponeurotic in structure. A tendon is so flexible and has such tremendous tensile strength that while performing an action, the muscle stretches almost minimally or remains the same but the tendon stretches and contracts, thus allowing more storage of energy in the muscle. When a muscle contracts or shortens, the tendon which is present pulls the bone where the muscle is inserted, bringing about the desired movement. Tendon is thus the effective structure that transmits the force of contraction to the bone. Since a tendon is thick like a cord, it provides immense stability to the articulating joint. Eponeurosis are supplied sparsely with blood vessels. Tendon injuries are much more common than injuries to eponeurosis, especially the Achilles tendon, which is the strongest tendon in the human body. It has weight-bearing properties too. Tendonitis is an inflammatory injury of the tendon, whereas tendinosis is a non-inflammatory injury to the tendon. Injuries to the tendons are commonly seen in sportsmen due to the recurrent weight-bearing strain on fixed group of muscles. While walking, the plantar aponeurosis mainly functions to raise the heel and bring the toe down, enabling stability of the arches of the foot. Summary The tendon and aponeurosis are both connective tissues, which are similar in composition but are different in structure. They both connect muscles to bones, but their functions differ and thus their structures. Tendons are tough cord-like and eponeurosis are flat sheet-like and are found all over the body. Tendons help attach the muscles to the originating ending bone and a tendon is what finally brings about a muscular movement in our body. Eponeurosis provides strength and durability while tendons provide flexibility and motility.